I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> but <laughs> looks uh, like they are starting. Line, Clearly, I missed whatever on earth you guys were talking about. Oh, we were just talking about how there. awful you were as a person. But uh, I great yeah, caster. I can understand that. Yeah, I can understand that. Awful person, definitely. I can so definitely agree with that. As I'm sure most of my team. We've seen a lot of different openings on this map. Uh, some people tend to contest first point, some does not. And it seems like Suki doing work, which is now in the red. Crit's cast. Uh, building in the cave. Are in the yeah. Blue. yeah, they're building in the cave here. And we've seen pros and cons for holding the first point and holding the cave. Because sometimes if you get a pyro pick, you can just waltz right into the tunnel and just kill everything with an uber and everything just dies and you got the first point for free. Uh, but if you stall on the first point, you can actually buy a lot of time. However, if you're stalling fall, stalling fails, you lose the tunnel pretty quickly as well. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. You kind of have to see uh, what you have to do. As overlay well, goes my, off and 10 seconds to go. Yeah, well, well my team did the syndicate on this map because we just stood really close to the doors. And then after, eventually we were just forced and then we just ran away with the Uber, the thing about... And then by the time they pushed the cart all the way through the cave to second point, we'd have had an Uber again. So this first point, a lot of teams just give it up most of the time. See what happens here. As, uh, oh, Dempsey actually craters the Rusty Do getting the last shot. So they've lost their demo on defense. I mean, he's going to be up but for the defensive second point. But if they push their Uber in right now, crits cast with no demo man, they got a bit of an advantage. Yeah, uh, but Shotgun are still staying in spawn though, they don't really want to push this quite yet. They're just trying to spam out, maybe try and pop muffins, but Rusky do get headshot there by Rev. I don't agree with like, the way that they have everyone next to the sentry. It's a single Uber a demo man with maybe a pyro or heavy behind them, just to take care of the pyro. Yeah. Like, uh, they'll just do, they'll do so much damage, even if they have a bad Uber, and there's people in behind and everything. That's what I don't like about this cave holds. A single Uber demo man. Look at this direct hit spam coming in from uh, Fenrir. It's really smart play actually. I just need Huey to come in with an Uber. Rusky Do is already pushing up on the cart. And they Huey, they're not even committing their medic yet. Huey can just spam and do so much damage here. They're flashing too many people in my opinion. Ritalin's running and actually the sentry got wrangled and Ritalin came in and took it down because of the wrangled sentry. Where so did he come from? I didn't even see him come in. He just in. walked through the car, and Huey is use, using this to just take position. He's got a spy in his face right now. Rescue you cleans him up, so... The good thing news for Suki doing work is that they uh, got out of there straight away as soon as they lost the sentry, which is important. When you lose a defensive hold, not to get your team wiped. And they're going to hold up in this top side, which I like as a hold. Yeah, it's a really good hold. It really stops that, that, that horrific flank through the uh, gate number two there. But The only problem it, with that is if you lose your flank, you lose like presence in the car and you have to drop down to defend it or, or lose yeah. position to defend it. That's the only problem with it in my... They're holding it off quite well though, so you could do them what they have their flank sort of working the left and the main car. There's sticky trap on the top right. If their combo pushes through, sort of on the cart side, and there's no spam going in, then they've pushed this lower door. Like they need to rotate. Yeah, they the got cart. forced there. Shotgun got forced there by, uh, uh, was that Limp? Yeah, it was Limp, the East Soldier. And now Red is just going to Uber in straight down. Muffins, uh, oh. Shotgun getting completely destroyed by um, Welver. And that's a lot of players that lost blue. and a bad yeah. Uber. Like, they just didn't realise that they were going to re-push from top. The shot, they should have just rotated their combo out of there. Yeah, they could. As soon as, as, soon as, as that where they forced, are. they should have just run back straight look away. At where so are, Who knew with the most epic left. face stab of all time? Wow. No, I missed that. <laughs> yeah. I got it on face camera. Stabs You're always worth watching. Just to make me feel sad inside as a medic. But yeah, they should. Um, if they're gonna, if they're gonna hold this top left, Suki's actually just Demzy holding this top left. They could sack somebody in, and uh, Bubble Bobbler decides to walk in and die whilst trying <laughs> to build something. Okay, that makes sense. If they're going to hold that top left, they need to focus the cart. Look how close the cart is. And then just draw them off the high ground, then fight them as they come in. Actually, yeah, and just Uno really just walks in and just, like, apps that. That was wow. ridiculous. But Rev taking down Shotgun there with a nice body shot, which allows Red to just basically get out and just defend on third. And third's a lot more cart focused hold, whereas this. It's sort of, you've got to either have your combo on flank or on the car, and at this point they were on flank. 
but with this hold, with this hold on last, they can just have it just completely destroying anyone who comes in. This is why I like this point so much. Um, so yeah, they've yeah. got a good defense set up here, and they have Uber thanks to that body shot kill. Have you seen the sniper sidelines on this map, by the way? He sniped him from all the way across the map through a tiny, tiny little gap as he crossed into the lower left. Hey, it was ridiculous. The sniper sidelines on this map are just awful. Sorry, I have to say, I just don't like this map at all. There we go. <laughs> yeah, like I said before uh, the start of the, the cast, it's very sniper, spy, soldier friendly. This is good fun for them, not if you're a medic. Oh yeah, as a medic, yeah. this must be horrible. Yeah, the sni okay, sniper okay. sightlines for uh, sniper sightlines for this map coming in through gate three, just being able to just take down the medic pretty much no matter where he stands, unless he's right behind the uh, things. But um, Unu trying to come in, trying to get sapped, but gets taken down by Rev. Rusky pretty much out of position. He's, he he looks like he wants to just put a bit of spam onto the cart low. Bring out of that uh, door number three there, but not able to do anything. The thing about this is the, the position from them is quite solid to keep it, but you can see um, Chris Cast, where are they? They're, oh, they're not on the right house. Oh, they're all on the floor. If they go into that like house area and they just spam from there, spend about 30 seconds spamming, they'll get more damage done, and then eventually they'll force, they'll get good kills, and they'll force a mistake, a bad Uber. As Rusky do is gonna get backstabbed on the car. Yeah, but Hugh looking like looking looking like he wants to come out here. He forces uh buff and Zuba though and they're just gonna have to back it's out not gonna as be well. Good, yeah. yeah. yeah Rusky Rus just Rusky just uh, not doing anything. But go into the top left house. Them. Go into the top left house, Crit's cast and just spam from there. That's all they need to do. They've lost Careful, a few they people. Might be right? I know I, I know this is only a, a 90 second but that 90 second they could still listen. Can't give any 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 help. You never know. Much as I'd like to. <laughs> yeah, see, Rusky Do is trying to work his way into the house. If they just play from where Bubble Bobble is centuries, look, they've got their flank into the house now, opposite. And they've lost Huey to the sniper. That's okay. If they can get Furbo in here and keep him buffed, they can still hold that house. They've dropped outside again. They're sort of really struggling to think of ways to crack this. What they need now is a pick. Yeah. From somebody. That's what they're depending on. And they're just not getting it. Unu's just getting shut down by everything. And Suki comes in, and takes down Rusky there with a nice backstab. Um, doesn't look like they're going to be able to get anything. This is going to be quite a nice hole, quite a nice time as well. But Fenrir uh, getting out the end by Soldier a little bit here. By uh, but no, he eventually takes down Limp on the flank. Suki was trying to make a play on the medic, got launched in the air. But the thing is, he managed to buy his team like five seconds of time just by being alive. They're, they're going. Lower with the super now, but they can—they've got quite a bit of damage on the sentry, but they need to sort of get out now. Ritalin's doing his best to deny the counter from chasing them, and they've actually forced them on the low ground. So this could work for them if they can get in position. There's a play coming in the medic. Um, Muffins took some damage there; she's fine. Uh, engineer tried to move to spawn. Furbo is the only one that can do anything from top. He gets shut Just down. Gets shut down. Yeah. It's no was... positioning once again from blue. They all ran onto the low ground, so um, there's actually heavy rescue dudes trying to do what he can. He kills a sentry, but he's all alone without heals. He can't do yeah. anything. He, if he'd stayed there, he could have killed Demzy. Mm, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I think um, they need to rotate a bit more with their Ubers, but they, they've got a few picks for the spawns. They have an opportunity here, but they're sort of just suiciding people on the cart. Yeah, they're not really doing anything at the moment. Unic and like fails a jump. Onto yeah, the I house. saw that. That was, <laughs> that, that was, that was <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Soldier. Their only hope is to like pitch the cart to the point. But Dempsey sort of decided to defend from the choke way, so without him on the left side, they could probably use that to get on, on the left. They're just sitting so far back and the building new. I sort of don't agree with that. I think they they can just play in the top house and be perfectly fine. Their medic could just build in the top house. Well, it is just wasting a lot of time for them, of course. Um, and as this this counter on on the very top of my screen counts down even further, the, f the further back they hold. Uh, Muffins has had Uber for what seems like ages now, and Shotgun's only just getting his. I just want to see some aggression from somebody. From they're all just standing there. Like Dimsy was probably overextended with 100 health, but there was no aggression, so no one could pick him. Like no one's really doing anything for Critzcast, just hoping that they can get a better Uber fight or they can get a pick. 
Yeah. And they spy. Like I said, this point is so stalemate if no teams have got the, the balls to actually do anything about it. That central is still, still up. They're going lower again. Shotgun's going to get caught out. Oh yeah, for the bad. Yeah. Mistake as a medic, he's going to just get trapped. Maybe he can get Dempsey. No, he gets paint drained down. Um, I would have liked to see them like use that Uber on, on Huey. It was a good idea. And then Rusky do run with shotgun into the left house. And then because they run into the left house, they can use the height advantage. Yeah. Because they've they've drew, what they did was they drew them all to the floor. They've done that twice. They've drawn them all to the floor from Suki doing work. But yeah, but of course that sentry, they, they haven't actually managed to take it down when that's happened. So, so if, if Suki didn't work, actually stay around the third point, they've still got that huge cover from that sentry pr provided by their engineer. And they can't really do anything against that. The, they can't re, re soft, they can't soft re push. Um, the ducks can't soft re push in to try and take down the out of position medic because of that sentry, which is like really good teamwork oh, well, coming in. Yeah, these players, Limp is on in on the medic, gets defended by Fenrir in the end. Limp got two kills up on that top house. I like that they're in this top bit now, but they're still in the wrong area. They need to attack from the left gate, not this bit. Yeah. Well, this I, is pretty much the standard attack route, is coming in through the drop down and into PC. I, really? Wherever this, this room is. Yeah, that's that's what I've seen. A lot of teams do it, like, I'd three or four times before that, eventually like, trying something else. This point is really easy to cap. Maybe, maybe it it's hard. just the level of Highlander I'm playing at, which is, you know, high steel, sort of low silverish. But everyone we've seen does that, and all the silver teams that I cast do it. I uh, they actually had a good Uber exchange this time, all but uh, Urx just sets uh, with his minigun, manages to catch Rusky doing Huey. They don't finish off the uh, combo Medic. from combo from Suki doing work. It's, they sort of took more damage in the Uber because Rusky Doo came in and made them split the Uber unnecessarily. Yeah, Suki so, the only one actually managing to stay uh, uh, actually going down for uh, SDW there, um, which was pretty pretty bad for them. As he's trying to get in a fight with a scout here, uh, not particularly good. But Unu sat underneath. Maybe he's going to try for a play here. They've gone. Yeah, Furby's gonna... got a couple of kills. So the engineer's been sniped. Foxy's down. So Furby's got a sight line on this sentry. The sentry goes down. Now they're pushing in non Uber. This is some aggression. Exactly what they needed, and it's because they have no choice but to go. But the pyro is sort of holding them off. And there's an Uber exchange, pyro if heavy, but there's Fenrir is on the cart, blocking it. It's just Rusky doing shotgun alone. Oh, they need to you have to drop the Uber to push the cart as well. Yeah, they, they're rush, just going to yeah. get swarmed, and they're going to defend the points. Suki doing work, and even though that was a really good defense, I feel like it was on crit's cast for the not using the height advantage, the obvious height advantage in that left house. It's yeah, the, definitely. It's the easiest way to cap the point. Just pressure from there and control that area. Get your sniper in there, get your soldier in there, get your demo in there, get them spamming. Yeah, they had, they had the sniper and the soldier every now and then, but they didn't have anyone else, they didn't have that presence, they were still trying yeah, to hold were, on second. They were just which... being cleaned up by the flank, like Limp and Iss, and we're just cleaning them up. Yeah, and it looks like Critzcast is going to do what they that used to beat out, beat us out of the playoffs, knock us, knock us out, is having the sentry in a really strange location. Not on the first, not on the second, but nearly on the third. Point. It's a very interesting location really? there. Yeah, Where? It's on the top right, on the, uh, the second point. Over on the bridge there. Just find Bubble back there. He's there working. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, this is a pretty... Uh, uh, this seems to be quite standard among some of the higher plat teams I've seen. I saw Effie and... Um, uh, oh, yeah, Effie and, uh, Effie and the Ducks both used it. And um, he, when me and, Ad me and Admirable casted them, uh, not that we actually managed to finish that cast, but... Uh, they both used it, and it, it, it seems to be a really good strat because it completely covers that flank while you leave your combo to just completely watch the cart, which is really good. But it does require you to give up first point because otherwise you cannot set that center up in time. But with Mr. going huge and getting a couple of nice picks there onto the red team, who are just holding in, uh, they're holding a thing, and Rusky, Rusky gets headshot. Uh, Shotgun has only got a sniper to look after, and he's just going to have to back up and just completely leave second point. The only problem uh, just completely leave first point. Muffins is um, still in spawn, and because of all those kills, they could have gone forced an Uber exchange right now. Yeah. But actually, I think I think they're just going to be happy to get the first point. Remember, they only need one point in 
by yeah. two minutes 30 and they found the sentry on that top of it. That is a strange sentry position, Let's see it's, how it works. It's it's a good sentry position, I've seen it work really well because it just covers that flank, nothing can come in through there at then all. The rest, of, the rest of them need to like focus on the cart. Yeah, the heavy will, should basically just watch the cart there at that point, which I'm pretty sure he is. But um, that, yeah, shotgun oops in through top, and they're not actually able to take out the. And they defend oh, They just, they just completely, they, they didn't take out the sentry. Yeah, the demo man came in lower by himself and got picked off by a soldier. It was a weird play, but they managed to get the cart to the edge of this tunnel. This is where Huey needs to focus on the. Um, they picked up the sentry, and just as Bubble Bubble gets headshot by Rev, he just puts it down, like literally half a second but it just gets taken down there while it's still being built by Fenrir with a nice black box kill onto it and Blue look, blue look like they really want to get aggressive here, they really want to cap this. Uh, no one coming out of the top lobby yet. They need to defend this Chris cast because they don't have time if they cap this, this is it. Ritalin yeah but they haven't got any players left, they've got a demo in there. This is, oh no this is going to be so close, can they do it in time, ooh Rusky and, uh, no sorry. Uh, Erfex, yeah, Muffin's had an Uber there. They're just, they're just gonna walk up. Shotgun's they're just gonna close to the Uber, just somebody stand on the cart. If, if, shotgun, if they drop, drop the Uber now, they can cap as the server starts to lag for me. But are they gonna get this? Uh, it's just Earth on the cart. Ooh, all by so many players going down to red then. That was ridiculous. And then, yeah, that was just a cap. So that's gonna be uh, a 1 0 to uh, the. Yeah. No. To Suki doing work. Uh, leaves it. It's one all in the matches, and this is the third map. Um, and it's just gone one nil to the two sucker doing work. If they win the next round, that's going to be it, and they win overall plat. If the Ducks win the next round, it's going to go to a third round, and it will be so exciting. I will probably wet myself alive on stream. I hadn't said that well, now, but anyway, <laughs> Karen Hill just throw. I was just saying, steady, steady on there. Just getting messages, but apparently, please don't. So uh, I'll try not. So I'll try to contain myself, as uh, as hopefully these guys are just going to go for a uh, quick break, um, as they have been playing for quite some time now. Yeah, so, we've been casting for a off. while too. What do you mean we've been casting? You haven't said anything, GPS. Well, I said something. <laughs> Sometimes when you let me. Sorry, I'll, I'll try not to talk so much. Oh yeah, from the looks of it, this far, I'm gonna change my original bet, which was uh, Critscast 2-0 to uh, Suki doing work 2-0. That was a really, really convincing uh, hold. Or was it more that Critscast didn't use their height advantage, like you mentioned, Hildreth? Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, they didn't attack it correctly, in my opinion. I mean, when they did force Suki onto the low ground, there was, like, nothing coming in from top. Like there was no sniper in position or anything because they were controlling the flank so well. I mean, it's, a, it's not a bad idea to Uber from that lower bit. Like, I, it's definitely not the worst idea, but if you're going to Uber from that lower bit, you need to get your med out and or get your med into the left side. Get your med into that top left house and meet up with your flank there. And then also, another thing you can do about that top left is you can get people behind. Like, if you just split their focus and get people in behind then you can start attacking from many different angles and that's what breaks good defences is, is when you have people attacking at the same time from multiple areas. And that yeah, just but feels it, like Critscast just played it so wrong on that third point. It wasn't like any... they wasted so much time just building the Uber and nobody doing anything. Like they're just hoping that their spy or sniper would get killed but their spy or sniper were totally unsupported every time they went in for a kill, so as they can't do anything unless they have the team supporting them. They don't even have to commit themselves, they just need to be there showing themselves so they can take the focus away from them, or they just support them, like support their sniper when he goes to snipe in the top left, get your medic on him and then make sure he doesn't get flanked by soldiers and scouts. Yeah, we're going to go into this second round, see what, um, if Critscast can, sorry, um, Suki can do an attack. They managed to get that first round really easily, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I think it was just, again, like, this entire final has all come down to the stamina. 
and they just seem to be faring better. Chris Cass making a couple of big mistakes there that just they wouldn't normally make or they haven't wouldn't make in they've been you know if they were fresh faced and playing for 10 minutes yeah fun, but fun fact we've been going for two hours and 50 minutes and they have probably gone longer since they've probably scrimmed before this match as well so they've been playing for yeah. a long time yeah definitely <laughs> yeah i mean like i've got something like as well anyway sorry yeah, they've, they've, they've got a pretty forward hold on this point there. Um, I'm not quite sure what they've done with the sentry. Have they put it in the same place again? Yeah, it's in the same place. Yeah, it's so... in the same place. Five, four, uh, so yeah, that, 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 that did sort of work, but then they just sort of seemed to completely ignore the car, which didn't work. But if, if they have that there, they don't need to ignore the car and focus on flank. It's there to look after the flank, and it, it wasn't... They weren't letting Bubble Bobber just look after the flank by himself. There's a big problem here for them to just pick the sniper. He's sort of in that little stream. Yeah. It's, it's called the death pit. In, well, at least I call it the death pit. And they've managed to get a lot of picks in this first point. Yeah, they look Although, like they re really want to go aggressive wow. straight into this um, thing. Okay, so but I thought Huey picked the medic, but it was a dead ring of spy. I got, um, I got, uh, I got trolled. Yeah. I got confused. My bad. Um, looks like Crit's casts have just completely fallen out, which I agree with, like, don't overcommit to that point. It's a difficult one to defend. Yeah, they yeah. didn't. They didn't have numbers. They had no way of defending it really. It looks like Blue already want to go aggressive. I think they've probably heard heard the uh, sentry, so they know it's going to be there. I like that Huey's n more now focusing more on, on the cart rather than the top left. Yeah. And that the sentry's on this top left bit. I sort of, I like that. But I think they may have a bit too many people. And, well, they need to support the sentry a little bit. I'd, they're actually pushing into it. And they've Ubered really, 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 really early. And yeah, they, they knew there was going to be a, a Someone has to there, flash so. the demo. Like, the engineer's stuff has been destroyed. The medic should have probably tried to flash the NG. Dempsey managed to trade his life for the NG, which I say is a good Dempsey's good still trade. in there, though. He's still in there and he's still alive. And he was still getting out of damage there. Eventually got uh, cleaned up by Ritalin. But Blue really need to repush this now. They need to take their heavy in. And they could, they could they completely could control that flank, that top bit. Take their time. No they need there. to take their time, really. There's no sentry on the top. So now Huey's yeah. going to have to focus to the left, which opens up more doors because Huey's focusing there. They can go from lower on the main. Yeah, I suppose. Or they can they can try and force their way in the left again, but I wouldn't. I don't think they should with a demo man there. I it think they should. Yeah, they're going lower. I like this decision. There's only a soldier really watching it, and a couple of people on the opposite, like Rusky, do spamming around from range. Huey manages to spam down the demo man. So actually, Huey's pipes are doing so much damage. So they've managed to shut this push down before it's come in. But it looks like they're going to come out with their Uber on this right side and start focusing the cart. No, it looks like they're backing up. Not quite okay, sure where was, they want to go. That was weird. I just watched the scout from Suki just walk by the soldier and get off the cart when no one was contesting him, which I disagree with. Like, yeah, he keeps, he keeps he keeps coming in and then sort of looking at the cart and then backing out again. I think it's because that level 2 sat up top. Well, was sat up top. Bobble Bobble just I picked it up. But that Uber comes in. It forces the blue Uber. Um, they're just backing out. They know yeah, they, they know they can repush without Uber. Yes, it's true. They've put them on the low ground here, and the cart is so close to the edge because of them. The scout actually came in as a Uber to push the cart, which is a good decision. He gets picked, and now Dimsy's in at the front, doing lots of damage to the combo, and their combo is completely taken over his cart. Rusky Dude's going to drop down. Wow, they got the medic as well. Uni oh, with a that was a brilliant nice. sync team play there. And yeah, that was a nice, nice, nice couple of frags because that, that's going to leave Shotgun with at least a sort of 50% Uber advantage. Well, there's a pyro weapons. play on the medic. This comes the pyro. Uh, Shotgun is so weak, and Bubble Bobble actually stole their health as well. Oh, the health was yeah. up. And Suki, oh, <laughs> Suki well, with, as the, a result, with the revolver plays. As was a that, result. That, was that from right across? Yeah, well, it was, I think it was, that was. The top, top bit. That was all because the health got stolen. I think Bubble Bobble took it, or it just wasn't there. Maybe the pyro took bad. it. If you did, if you did actually take it, you should. And look at the way Suki attacking this point. Exactly what I says. Use that high ground. It does help that they got a medic pick. They're coming from this left. Look up. They're so Just close. cap that straight away. Yeah, Bubble Bubble has been caught out as well. Not going to have a sentry to defend the fourth point. This is the hardest point to cap, as well. And they're down the sentry. They're down at even disadvantage. 
Um, they need Huey to be at the front doing damage. They're losing position. They've not taken this hill. They've gotten Damn. the medic. Huey's somewhere. I don't know where he is. He's behind them. He's managed to take down the demo man. He's so the heavy. He's all alone now. He he needs his team supporting him there. I think it's yeah, going to be a little were, too late. They got they got stuck in the pit though. Um, this MC was just spamming pipes and sticks down onto them, and that's such a spammable location. It's, again, like three or four kills, we just gotten straight there just by spam. Um, Rev got Re um, Rev eventually picked off Huey at the back there. Oh, I think I saw him with a body shot. Huey, yeah, Uber, bad Uber from Blue coming in there. I think that was a force there, but it no, doesn't they, really matter because there's no no. They have a counter Uber shotgun, which is, yeah, it was kind of a bad Uber. They use it to save Dempsey just to pick Huey. I don't think it's worth it. Now Sh Shogun needs to use his counter Uber to block the car. Now don't let this car get down the hill, or you'll lose. Like if it goes down this hill, you pretty much. Your Ubers mean nothing right now. They've lost Huey to a spawn yeah, camp or something. Yeah, but Dempsey comes straight in and pops shotguns Uber when there was no one yeah. to actually kill. So that's going to reset Muffins to uh, have about a 40-50% Uber advantage. So the scout is just going to try. Scout and Edgy just going to soft push this repeatedly over and over again. Yeah, they managed to defend the cart. Raylan has been doing some work on there by himself. But a few kills, but. Here comes Dempsey's going up this left, and there's a heavy in the window spamming. They're doing yeah. lots and lots of pressure. They're just spamming the cart. Fenrir's doing a lot of work, just spamming rockets in the cart, denying people. But here they come on the cart now, and um, Fenrir's had to drop down. And Rusky, do you need to drop down? The engineer falls into the pit. He's not going to get it in time. Oh, the spy! Spying scout just about drop it, but there's a mini sentry there, and the pyro is going to finally get it over the edge. And that is a 5 minute 51 time. It's That's quick. a really fast time, That's especially for Swift Water. Close to impossible to beat. That's a that's a pretty big claim there, GPS. That is a pretty big claim. Yeah, it's a pretty big claim for a pretty small time. I have to say that was an amazing round for Suki doing work there. Yeah, some really again like like I said earlier, it's all about momentum and they just they just kept that up. They kept the aggression up. They got Stuck a little bit on second point, but third and fourth were just capped so quickly that they never had a chance. That Ducks never had a chance to put any. It was a, it was that play on the medic, but to, to revolver. I don't know if Bubble Bobber actually took the took the health or the pirate took the health. If if Bubble Bobber didn't take the health, I for, I forgive you, but if you did, you just cost your your team the game. God damn it, Bubble. God damn How it. dare he? How dare he? Yeah, he's, well, clearly not, he's clearly not going to be on the next uh, England team if you're leading it. <laughs> no, I think I'll take my NGM reins. Do work, you know? But yes, uh, that pick by Suki was so big and it was the pyro sort of created the space to make the make the kill. So you've got to give credit to the pyro as well. What's his name? Um, Quell. Yeah, Quell. Quell. Considered one of the best players in, in Europe. Just like to point that out. Yeah, it's so, good time aggression by him. Yeah. Well, he, need, he knew that his team needed the medic pick. He went for it. And um, they have five minutes thirty seconds to cap this. They're relatively uncontested. Times three on the cart. It's all about this cave hold, really. Dempsey's sort of getting trying to defend it a bit. He could he could get shot. Fenrir hasn't noticed Dempsey. He has noticed him now. Dempsey's going to go down to. The, the um, yeah, rescue do finish him off. So demo the man down. There's been no Uber exchanges right now. No one's on the car. This is what I don't like. No one's on the car. Because there was a couple of people blocking the car in the house. There's a scout in the house by himself, behind. So he might come in and make a play. He's just trying to escape. He's dies to Huey. So they brought themselves about 40 seconds from that. Now they need to break this cave hole. They need to go now and get an Uber and make it work. And they've Ubered really early Uber. And counter pop but Ritalin's running there and thinks with the spy and they've managed to take down the sentry as a yeah, result of it. Fenrir managed to get that nice uh, direct hit kills onto it, but that teleport is still up in the tunnel. And they're still trying to hold in tunnel now, they're backed out. Yeah, they they gave it up straight away. Actually Dempsey's still trying to hold it. He's by himself, he's running away. I think he's gonna get away. Yeah, he just managed to get away. Fenrir was looking for him. Uh, every time that Uber's come in, Ritalin has just timed it perfectly. As soon as the wrangles on, Wrangler's on, Ritalin just runs in there and goes for the NG. And then it's, it's twice. I think that's a really good, really good play. I think when he did that counter Uber, the pirate didn't air blast people away. He just tried to get frags. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, they they need to make this push on second work. They have no time. They need to make it work now. They're trying to go from this top area, but they're not going to get in for free. So I think they should rotate, go tunnel. Yeah, they've got um, Dempsey just watching that top area. They know that they can't come straight in. Uh, and um, what's his name? Urfex just watching the car, pretty much just being able to spam. They blue just have got no positioning. They want to come top. Well, no, they want to come main. Actually, they're sat in main, but Suki getting set on fire and then still managing to take down Fenrir with a nice backstab there and managing to get out alive, which of course always important. But uh, blue once again just backed out. They're sat in the tunnel. They don't want to do anything at the moment. They, maybe they want to take him in. I don't know. They have to push. So that's they the do. Thing. They don't have time. They want to come. Like, they, they want to come the low flank, but. I'm pretty sure I just saw Suki just go invisible behind them, which is not a good position for him to be. Yeah, he, yeah, he goes and just takes out Rusky do on that push. And that's gonna just, just gonna that's gonna be the signal for the blue for the red Uber to just come in and just clean straight up. Shotgun managing to get out alive, but he must be gonna get flanked relatively soon. Yeah, Rusky Rusky looking like he wants to come in and follow. They're just gonna let him get out for free. Yeah, they don't need to overextend here. Like, uh, does it just put their medic in a bit of a bad spot? Takes him. Big direct hit, 100 damage shot, but she manages to get away. I think they should just give this point up because the spawns and position superior for crits cast right now. So yeah, they're yeah. just going to give it up, go to three, and then they have a tiny, tiny chance of making this work. Times three on the car. Constantly, I'm looking at Suki though coming behind. He's gone in the house instead of going for the medic. Okay, never mind. <laughs> They've got a tiny chance of making this work. Fenrir picks Stemzy, so that's Stemo down. That's going to help. Suki goes down in the house. The sentry's getting spammed by Huey. And there's an Uber coming in. She doesn't have it yet. Muffins. But the pyro is there to deny the Uber. And they're actually just standing there shooting the uh, shooting the sentry. And then here comes the counter pop. Right at and the right time. And the it's, it's on the heavy though, which Isn't. is not able to be. Oh, and Isson comes in with a nice double kill on Shotgun and Rusky. Yeah, he just uh, ran through the flank. Huge flank, yeah. After they cleared the car, he knew that the flank was on, so he came in, and that's going to be GG right now. He's not going to have time. Oh. Yeah, there's not physically enough time for them to actually cap this, uh, even if they have time to throw in the car all the way, which realistically uh, means I think this just is... lagged out there. Uh, sorry, but yeah, it's, there's realistically no not enough time for them to cap this now, uh, even with times three on the car, which is really unhelpful for them. Yeah, they, they're finally coming in top, but little too little too late as uh, still a, only a minute left on this time and that's physically not enough time for them to push. They were just cleaned up again trying to go for the cut. Yeah, so I think um, Suki do and work and they'll take the UGC Platinum yeah, first that's, place. Yeah that's a victory for them. Uh, with the rule being abolished now that because they were low, the lower bracket and they don't they would have to play again on Thursday that's been abolished. Um, this so best of three is not being replayed, which is good. But obviously, it's a good doing works. They want to win. But yeah, because that was the original rule in the double brackets. It was if the lower bracket won, it had to be replayed, which seems incredibly silly to me. But yeah, so this is it. This is the finals. This was the end of the finals uh, of the UGC European Platinum. Third point finally gets capped, but with 10 seconds left on the clock, it's going to be a GG. Well, I think it was a good season for Suki doing work. They got promoted to Premiership and they've won the UGC Platinum. Yeah. So, yeah, they've, they've done really well. Um, so, yeah, that's a GG. Uh, some really close maps. Uh, Ducks, incredibly close on Gullywash. I don't know if you actually saw that, Hildreth, but it was insanely uh, close. Um, and then, of course, Viaduct was a 4-0 victory to uh, Tukadu and Work. And this, of course, a 2-0 victory to Tukadu and Work as well. So, uh, a little bit of a one-sided in terms of points capped, maybe. But, incredibly close nonetheless, I think. Just the Ducks being let down by perhaps a few, a few mistakes that they made just as their stamina was running out. So, I don't know. I think it could have gone either way at the beginning, but by the time we reached Swiftwater, it was it was definitely a, a, a sucker doing work win. You know, completely. One, uh, one of the things Huey told me halfway through Swiftwater is like they're so tired and uh, yeah. 
Exactly the stamina thing we mentioned. It's pretty late here now. It's actually Monday. No, Tuesday. Yeah. It's Tuesday here now. Yeah, I think they probably just like lost lost a lot of the hype and stuff and concentration. Yeah. Yeah. That's generally what happens. In, in these old best of threes. But of course, so that is going to be a victory for Sukadoon Work. They've won the European UGC Highlander Platinum Division uh, first place, and Sukadoon Work, uh, British Cast Distinguished Ducks coming second, and Fair Enough came third. Um, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. I think, I think I'm tired. I need to go eat. I think you guys probably, probably feel the same way. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, and I think all our viewers who stuck with us through the end. Thank you so much for sticking through us for over three hours of. Uh, UGC Platinum Final content. So, thank you guys for watching so much and sticking all the way through the last guys who are here. Yeah, I think we had a stream high of about 237 or something like that, which is the biggest we've ever got, and I probably will do again for some time until we get like a really big uh, game, to, no, no, another really big game to cast. But, um, yeah, I also want to give a big thanks to Kip who casted the first match and Ryushi who casted all the way through, and Hildreth who came in and gave us quite the helping hand here, so thank you very much for helping us out here on this final. Uh, I do of course want to give a big shout out as well to GPS. He has cast, he has streamed everything here, he's hopefully caught all the big plays and uh, has occasionally lent his, his platinum insight into how these teams play and how they've played as well. Uh, a big shout out to um, Blackout Gaming, who of course sponsor everything now. Uh, a big shout out to Mikey, I think he's the owner of Blackout Gaming, I may be wrong. But I'm pretty sure he is from from uh, tr uh, stalking their forums and things. Uh, they've donated a huge amount of money to ETF2L. They've done so much for um, uh, competitive TF2 in Europe this these last two seasons or this coming season. And they've created a casting organization as well, which has had to cast this. So I think they've done excellently. I'm proud to be casting this game. It was a really good game. Um, yeah. So thanks everyone. Thanks for watching. I've been Raiji, I've had Hildreth, Kip, and Hi GPS with me. Good night.